Oh, hi. I'm uh, making a list for Thanksgiving. My mom always told me, well, actually, she made me give a, a list of 10 things that I should give God thanks for. You know, there was never on my list to give him thanks for church. I don't know why. Probably because I wasn't that thankful on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, to go to church. I know I didn't have school, and I did thank God for no school. But I did not thank him that I could go to church to thank him. So, Mom and Dad always made, there's seven of us, Always, we always had to make a list of ten things we were thankful for. So, I'm making my top ten uh, list to thank God. Because, you know, I do thank people. My mom always taught me to give thanks to anyone who gives me anything. Well, God gives me everything. The one thing I couldn't put on my list was everything. I don't know if you ever do that. I mean, what do you give God thanks for? Don't say everything. Be more specific. Actually, Martin Luther, he, in the first article, gives a list of things to be thankful for. And now I can't find it. Here we go. It comes under the first article because he knows that God made him. And so he starts making a list. I think there's 14. If you're ever looking for a top 10 list, Martin Luther says, well, he has given me my body. I thank him for that. And my soul. That's two big ones. Then he gets even more specific about his body. Eyes. He thanks the Lord for his eyes so he can see. Ears so he can hear. All my members. What he means by members is hands, feet. Um, my reason. He thanks the Lord that he has a mind. And all my senses. You know those senses, right? So you could thank the Lord for taste, for touch, all those. And he thanks the Lord for clothing, shoes, food, drink, house, home, wife, children. In the time of Martin Luther, it would also be land and animals. He also thanks the Lord for defending him from all danger that he protects him from all evil. He says, he does this out of his own goodness. So I should thank him. In fact, Martin Luther says, it's my duty to thank and praise, serve and obey him. So, <clears throat> Psalm 100 is one of my favorite. It, he also gives a few on his list why we should thank the Lord. And his big one is, Know that the Lord he is God, that he has made us, and we are the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. So where do you go to give God thanks? Well, you go where he is. So, hopefully you made it to church this year and gave him thanks that you have the opportunity to thank and praise him. For the Lord is good. His love endures forever, and His faithfulness is to all generations. So when you make the top 10 list to thank God, I don't know if you ever watch this on ESPN, but they always give you the top 10 plays. Well, they don't begin with number one. They can begin with number 10. And all of, I've given you are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, what would be the top number one on your list? I'll write down. Maybe you have the same answers I do. Jesus. That's my number one thing to God I give thanks because he gave me his son 
for my salvation so I could be with him forever. Let's pray. Oh Lord, we give thanks. Lord, sometimes it's hard to make the list of the things that we should give you thanks for. We do know where to go into your courts, into your gates with praise and thanksgiving. That's what David did. He loved to sing. He loved to give you thanks. And we, well, we give you thanks for Jesus. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. And he's the one that will bring us to heaven. So thank you, God, for Jesus. Amen.